College football fans are wild, rabid, but most importantly, passionate about their teams. They can provide a home field advantage with thousands of them screaming at the top of their lungs, trying to make a positive impact on the game for their team. They're tailgating all day and night, spending countless hours on message boards, and they absolutely love letting their opinions be known on Twitter. But what if a college didn't have these rabid fans to support their team? Well, today I am creating the Buford Bison out of Buford, Wyoming, where this town has the smallest fan base in the nation, with the population sitting at just a single person. With this town getting a new Division One college football team, they to hire a new head coach. They went out and snagged Coach Scotty McLovin. Coach McLovin knows this job will have its fair share of challenges like for starters, no fan base at all currently. This team will be a yucky 35 overall and every current player is a redshirt senior. We'll have two new rivals now with Wyoming and Utah who will both play every year. We'll start out as an independent, but once we win 10 games and get some new fans, then we'll transition to the Big 12. On the trail, we can't recruit any four stars until we beat Wyoming and Utah in the same season and we can't ever recruit any five-star talent. Even with no fans, a town with a population of one in the worst college football team ever. Coach McLovin still feels confident he can win the Buford Bison a national title. Oh, it's 12. Not really a shocker there. 36 overall team. We we scored more than I thought we would, to be honest with you. I thought I'd be like in the 20s or 30s, but we scored 70, so we got that going for us, I guess. Were any of these games close? 57-2 against Utah. The defense got us a safety. That's the most bizarre score I've ever seen. Wyoming, we scored 17 against. Got blown out. Oh my goodness, dude. Montana scored 52. It's an FCS school. Oh, man. 76 7 to 14 against Fresno State. Could you imagine if we played like a top five team? Oh my God, dude. We would have gotten buried into a cemetery. That would have been so bad. I'm so glad I did not schedule that. Well, the good news is Coach McLovin has been putting in some work on the trail, and I don't know how to explain it. We have 15 commits, and this class is actually not bad at all, dude. Coach McLovin, he's got a little riz, as the kids would say. I don't know why I say it as the kids would say, as like I'm a 50-year-old guy. I'm 21, but still, Coach has got riz. He's got charisma. These kids are buying what he's selling. It's pretty clear. None of you guys are very good at football, but you guys have a very important task on your hands now. I need you guys to stay in the the town and just populate it. Now, all of you guys are male, so that might be a little challenging, so maybe get, like, well, obviously you don't want incest, so let's not invite your family, even though you could invite your family and then other people from the team could then populate the town. I don't really know how to approach the whole thing. Hopefully some of you guys are doctors as well. I mean, we just, we really need to approach this thing head on, dude. It's kind of like colonizing a new planet. Like, I don't really know what the best approach is. Just make sure you guys have plenty of Dairy Queens nearby, because those things are awesome. I love Dairy Queen. Only two guys transferring in, which kind of sucks. A doctor Donis, which is an absolutely awesome name. Love that. Donis Williams, really good 74 overall safety. And then uh, Deshaun Baptiste, he's pretty okay, I guess, 64 overall. I mean, I was hoping for a little bit more, but the bright side is our recruiting class has a pretty good amount of guys. So it's not the end all be all that we only picked up two guys out of the portal. Early side of day thingy, my blobber. And it's just, it's what we have to do, man. Alan Roberson or Robertson, he is 251 pounds. Yeah, that enforces my strategy for just going after these two guys. Chandler Rutherford and Alan Roberson, uh, or Robert. Robertson, I should say, like, just go after these two guys. I wish I could go after these guys at the bottom. I mean, we have the lead for every single one of them. It's just, we just don't have enough points, dude. I just want to make sure I can get both these guys, because they are very, very good. So we got Alan Robertson, the big boy, 6 one 2 Love that. And then also Chandler. So two for two for the guys who really wanted Samaji. We did not get that, which is sadness. We did get David Rivers, who I didn't put a single point into, but Keaton Murdoch and Jalen Mualaha, we're not going to get either of these guys. They're going off to different places. So that makes this the recruiting class year one for Coach McLovin and I cannot emphasize this enough. I am blown away. Coach McLovin, I don't know how you did it, man. I really do not know how you convinced all these kids to come to town, but let me tell you, man, you did. Maybe it's kind of like the gold rush thing where everybody was rushing to go mine gold, but there's like not gold in Buford, though. If there was, people would already be here. I don't really know, but yeah, I don't know what Coach McLovin sold them on the trail, but it worked. Ryan Caprera is going to be our quarterback of the future. He looks really, really good. Beat out Hawaii for him. Noah Hall, we beat out Illinois. Alan Roberson, you know about him. Jalen Redmond, 6'5", 244 big man. Anthony Fredericks, Colt Bosa, Nico Sumter. I mean, we got some offensive linemen, which is usually hard to get in the first year of this video in these rebuilds. So yeah, man, I think we did a good job. Probably not ranked that low. Yeah, 60th. I'm not shocked by that at all, man. We're not even, that's crazy. We are almost in the top 50. I mean, we had some guys walk on. Maybe some are good, but I doubt they are because like I said, the town's got a population of one. So I doubt there's anybody that good. It's probably from a nearby county or something, but we'll take them. Year two of the McLovin era is underway. 
away, and the team looks better than last year's team, but it's really hard for it to look worse. That team's highest overall is like a 60, so yeah, this team is definitely better, but the depth is awful. I mean, it's basically a team of a bunch of walk-ons in the recruiting class we had last year, so it's not great, but if we have another good recruiting class like the one we had last year, I think next year's team could be pretty decent. And we went 2-10, so it's not horrible. I mean, it's not, I think, stellar. Like, we're not shooting for two win seasons, but it's only year two, and we scored a good amount of points on offense, so the offense isn't horrible. It's just the defense. The 49 overall is just not good. We got destroyed by both our rivals, dude. 45 nothing, 70 against Wyoming. Oh, that's so gross, dude. We did beat Southeastern Missouri for the first win of this video, but did not beat any FBS schools. And then the other win was in overtime against Montana, so yeah. And on the trail, man, Coach McLovin, once again, he's working some magic. Now, this class is not as good as the class last year. I'm just gonna put it out there because it's just the truth. But this class is definitely not horrible. Like, we have some decent players here, some guys that could take a couple years to develop and be decent players, but yeah. Year two recruiting for Coach McLovin. Resounding success. I'm happy. Signing day is here. I don't really know how to feel. I feel like it might be a little overkill. We're putting 4,000 points in Rohan Jackson. I don't think we need to put that many, but we're kind of doing the same thing with Dillard Zerbalis, and the reason is, like, these guys down here, I just don't think there's a point of putting that many points into them, because we already have a pretty big deficit, and these guys are higher overalls. And then for Joseph Aguayo, he's a 69 overall, put 1,000 points to him, but the rest of these guys, I just don't really think there's any point of going after, so we'll see what happens, but yeah, I think we should be able to go 3 for 3. What? How did we not get Rohan? Oh my goodness, I put, what, 4,000 or 3,000 points into this kid, and we had like a 3,000 point lead for him? Dude, that makes no sense. We didn't get Spencer Hamilton, at least we got Dylan Zerplus. We didn't get Spencer or or the other Spencer, I should say, Giovanni or Brian Dump. Are you, how did we not get, that uh, makes me sad. So that makes this the second class for Coach McLovin, and I'm not gonna lie, man, I'm pretty upset with how it ended. I mean, I don't know how we did not get that kid. That is gonna leave me very upset, but you know what? It is what it is, dude. He didn't want to come to Buford. He didn't want to come colonize a new town. It is what it is, dude. We have the guys that wanted to come here, and that's all that we need. Tim Mutcherson looks really good at cornerback, which is a position that we actually really, really need, so that's nice. LJ Stewart, 6'5", me likey. Jordan Young, another corner. Then the guy we picked up on Sunday day, Dylan Zerblis, Derek Baker, Mike Johansson. Like, I might be talking this class down a little too much. Like, it's honestly not that bad for a second-year class. It just, it should have been a little bit better at the top. Definitely not ranked this high. Yeah, 96. At least we're inside the hundreds, though. We're not in the triple digits, so I'll take that. Year three is on the horizon for Coach McLovin, and I told you guys, man, this team, it's looking pretty okay. Now, it's not, you know, gonna be a top 25 team or knockoff a ranked team or anything like that, but I would not be shocked if we win our first FBS game this year, because this team is definitely capable. It's not anything stellar, but it's okay. Ryan Caprera is gonna be our quarterback. 6'2", 187. He's up to an 82 overall, so this guy's definitely progressing, because I think last year he was like, what, 74 or 76, so he's definitely getting a lot better. He doesn't break the game with his speed, but 67's not bad. He's got some nice throwing stats, too, down here. So, I mean, yeah, he's not a bad quarterback, man. It'll be really good when he's a senior. And with our crappy schedule, because I'm making a crappy on purpose, I want to see us when I don't want to get fired again, dude. I've already gotten fired twice this video. We're playing Utah Week 1, Wyoming Week 2. Playing our typical FCS schools, we should be able to beat at least all of them. Eh, probably not. We'll probably lose one of them, because, you know, we still are not that great, but I would not be shocked, like I said, if we beat one of these FBS schools down here, man. It would not shock me at all. Well, we still suck to no one's surprise, but I mean, we have won one game. We're up 272 overall. Like, I don't think there's any doubt about it that we're ahead of schedule overall wise. We just haven't won many games at all yet. What sucks? We got crushed by Utah. Then we beat Wyoming, our rival. Let's go first FBS win in the video, but we lost to Sacred Heart in FCS school. And then we got Molly Wap by USF. Oh my gosh. We're 0-3 against FCS schools, dude. Uh, you can't be serious. This week, though, we are taking on Temple at home. As expected, there's not many fans at the game. But hey, it's okay. We just need to win this game. Start winning some football games. More fans will show up. Coach McLovin, that's all we're gonna do. And for this game against Temple, we have 13 guys visiting, which might be more than the people that are in the stands. So yeah, it's definitely not something the guys at the visit want to see. So hopefully we can just win this game and not worry about that. Down three the second quarter. I mean, the offense is just so inept. They have not done a thing. But the defense is doing okay. If we could just stop right here and force through a field goal, that would be nice. But but that might be asking for too much. High risk, high reward play if we do run commit, even though I think it's gonna be a run. I knew it. I should have ran commit. Get to the outside. There's not a soul out there. God dang it. It's getting dark, dude. We're down 17 in the fourth quarter. We need to score seven right here ASAP as possible. Then just pray our defense can somehow get a stop. Square. Oh, I think that's gonna be tight. No, it's not. I'm so bad at this game. I thought I could squeeze that in there in the tight, tight window, but no, that was a bad idea. This game's over, dude. Finished four and eight. So, I mean, we doubled our win total, right? Because last year we only won two games. So, I mean, I can't be that upset or off it.
defense was not as good as I was hoping, but the defense honestly wasn't too bad. Got destroyed by Buffalo. They put 52 on us, but we beat Georgia Southern, so another FBS win. Then we beat Southeastern Missouri. We lost to Cincinnati in overtime. We gave them a game, dude. Then we beat Montana, so we ended the season beating two FCS schools and an FBS school. Man, I'll take that. On the recruiting side of things, we got Xavier Wright, Anthony Miller. They're both studs. Sadly, though, they're both Chucos, but 85-82, and then it falls off a cliff, dude. Down to 72. So I don't think, like, the quality is dispersed throughout the class as much as it was the last year and the year before, but it's still a really stick a good class. Like, I'm happy with it, dude. I think that Coach McLovin is doing a phenomenal job recruiting. Like, these two guys at the top, they could be studs for us. Player saving stage, I mean, you guys all suck at football. Maybe one of you guys has, like, a hot sister in 10 or something, or maybe a hot mom. You guys could help out the population grow, but, yeah. Besides that, maybe become a doctor or a veterinarian. I'm sure there's plenty of puppies in town. Side days here, and honestly, I feel pretty good about my strategy. No, I felt good last year, and we missed out on that one guy. I figured what his name was. I think it was like taco or maybe salsa. I mean, I don't know why I'm thinking of taco and salsa. Did I, just, I didn't have Mexican food today either. I don't know. That makes no sense. I'm just going to stop talking. I want Roderick Azordery, Connor Frakes, and Isaiah with two S's. Okintwama. I don't want Fred Moore because we're chilling. And then O'Shea Lawrence. He's a Juco. I'd much rather get Connor who's younger. So yeah, that's the strategy. We'll see how it does. Did not get O'Shea, but I don't care. I didn't go after him. Isaiah with two S's. He's going to USC. That sucks. But we got Quentin Davis, Roderick Azordery, Connor Franks, so uh, we got all the guys we wanted, just not Isaiah. So that makes this the recruiting class this year for Coach McLovin, and honestly, I like it, man. I don't think it's as good as, like, the first year class, but it's definitely solid. And I didn't get fired this offseason, so I should be able to recruit a lot better next year. Really happy about that, but yeah, I like this class a lot, man. You guys know about Xavier Wright, Anthony Miller, Ty Stripling. I mean, we have a lot of athletes, which is always a good sign for these classes, because they usually go up and overall at a specific position, so really excited for it, man. Probably your lowest rated class the video, yeah. Yeah, 113th, man. This is one of those times where I just say, screw the rankings. Coach McLovin knows the studs he brought to town. Train results have arrived, so the first look at the team for this year, and I'll be honest, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, these guys have been working hard this offseason. A lot of plus fours, plus five, got a plus six right here, Jordan Wilson. So, yeah, these boys are definitely determined to go make a bowl game this year, because that feels like a reasonable goal, like we could, but I don't think we will. We'll see. Mr. Caprera's back at quarterback. He's up to an 88. Next year, he's going to be like a 92, 93, man. This guy is been, he's been working his tail off. He's been getting a lot better. He'll probably get drafted next year, I'd imagine. 68 speed, like I said. He's kind of the same player. He's a lot more aware this year, though, which should help us out. And on defense, we have a really good safety duo. With Xavier Wright, this was the Juco, dude. 88 overall, 90 speed. Just a sophomore. Such a good pickup. And then we also got Adonis Williams back there. This guy transferred in. I forget where he came from. It might have been like Auburn or something. I really don't know. But he's also really good. So these two guys in the back end, yeah, they're really not bad, man. Like I said, this team's not horrible. Like, we could make a bull game this year. 4 and 3. Let's go. 83 overall team. I mean, we scored a lot of points. We didn't give up that many. I mean, the defense has actually been really good. Now, granted, we've only played seven games, and Army's played nine, and Notre Dame's played eight, but still, man, impressive nonetheless. I'll take it. Barely lost to Utah week one, but we bounced back. It's Illinois State, Wyoming, Akron, and East Carolina, even though all those teams suck, and then we lost to Tulane and North Texas, so we're in a two-game losing streak right now, which is pretty unfortunate. For this week, though, we are playing Air Force at home. They have not won a single game. They're like a 70 overall. They're basically an FCS school at this point. They're awful, Coach McLovin. This has got to be a win. So, Caprera has a sprained ankle, which is pretty unfortunate. I wish you could just take my ankle. I don't really use it, but either way, do we just need a score right here. Circle's gonna be touching them. Call my chats. Oh, yeah. See, told you. Curl out. Easy peasy for free. Good job. Anthony. Time to get some separation, boys. Up four. We have a chance to make it a two-score game right here. We gotta capitalize Colt, even though your last name's Bosa. I really hope you're not related to Nick or Joey. If you are, then you're on the naughty list. There we go! It's because Nick and Joey are Buckeyes. We don't like Buckeyes around here, dude. Let's go, boys. Get ya. Up 18. Things are starting to look good, dude. Just need to put the nail in the coffin right here. Oh, there we go. Touch on Richards. Richards! Oh my god, that tight end is a fast boy. Ryan Richards got some wiggle to his jiggle, man. That's game over. Good W, boys. Good job, Bison. Let's go, boys! Six and six! This should be good enough for a bowl game right now. I might get finessed and cheated out of it, because the still plays a bunch of weenies and a bunch of jerks, but either way, dude, the points for is really good, so it's points against. Like, I can't complain. And we did that when we finished the season one and two. Lost to Marshall, UNLV. We did beat food, and then we lost to JMU, so I mean, all we needed was that one win to get bowl eligibility. And on the trail, once again, 
things are pretty solid. Like, I don't think this class is anything, like, stellar, as you guys can see. Oh, this guy's 6'8". That's beautiful. But, yeah, there's just a lot of depth in this class. There's not much, like, quality, I would say, at the top. Now, the good thing is, like, four or five years down the line, because I'm going to redshirt all these guys, they'll be, like, 85, 86 overalls. But, yeah, they're not going to really play for us in the immediate future, which is a good thing, though, because we don't really need them to. But, yeah, next year's recruiting class, we're probably going to try and go after more quality, because there just was not enough of it this year. I did not see the bull thingy pop up when I simulated, so I'm kind of worried that we got screwed right here please tell me bull game are you serious dude the thingy didn't pop up again i doubt we made a bull game then dude yeah it's official that simply has a vendetta against us and coach mclovin i don't know why we did not make a bull game six and six we didn't play any fcs goals that just that's not fair only got two guys lead us adonis williams and nico sumter i mean it sucks because they're two of our better players but now they have a more important goal on hand and that is to populize and colonize this town another side day in the books we didn't really do anything like too interesting we only signed like two guys and we got both of them. I think one was Mitch Harris and the other one, was it an athlete? I don't know who it was, the other one. But either way, we got both the guys we wanted. It's not like they were anything stellar, so there's really no point in showing you guys. So it's basically the same class. But the top guys I'm really happy about, Jackson Gallon, really good offensive lineman, 6'6". Six, six. Uh, Tristan Lane, it's a cool way to spell Tristan. Jackson Sowelly, I like him. Zach Morcasian, Shane Lodge, that guy's 6'8", dude. That he could definitely be an asset on this team, that's for sure. We're literally at the worst spot possible, dude. Right at the start of the triple digits, Sitting at 100th, I mean, 15 three stars, three two stars, two one stars. I don't hate the class. Like, it could have been a little bit better, but it's not horrible. Year five of the McLovin era is underway, and the team looks good enough to make a bowl game. Now, they were good enough last year, but we got screwed by the end step play, so we cannot leave it up to them. We got to get seven wins this year, guys. I think we could do it. This team's definitely capable enough. Like, we don't suck that much. Caprera's back at quarterback, 92 overall, 69 speed. Beautiful, and 69 strength. He loves that number, man. 99 awareness now. He's fully aware. He's definitely a solid quarterback i was hoping he'd get up to like 94 or maybe even 95 this year but did not happen he might still get drafted this year depends how good he does and in the backfield he has the best position group on the team probably alan roberson he's 6'1 258 oh it's beautiful dude and then also anthony miller 5'11 205 like these two guys a good little yin and yang like they should definitely be able to help out the offense championship contenders little four-year outlook of what's to come 99th this year which i don't think will be that bad i mean we're an 88 overall 56 59 and 47 so we're definitely going forward but this recruiting class we have this year, we got to try and pick up some dudes, man. We got to try and find some gems, Coach McLovin. But I think this year we could probably do some good things, man. 80 overall team. I mean, we're higher overall than Kentucky, so that's got to count for something. For week one, though, we are playing Utah at home, our bitter rival. If we can somehow beat them in Wyoming, we'll be able to recruit four stars next year, Coach McLovin. So, guys, just please go out there and somehow win this game. Today is not the day to play scared, boys. Today is the day where you... Pull up your jack strap, suck it up, and make a play. There it is. There it is. There it is. Let's go. Good job, Anthony. Uh, we have so much for our lead. We're down nine in the third quarter now. I mean, the defense is just getting bent over right now. We need to try and score, guys. Let's help out the defense a little bit. I mean, Utah is just begging us to run the ball. Now, we don't have our bowling ball back there, but this should still be a touchdown even with our backup. Yep, there it is. Easy peasy. Good job, Anthony. We have a lot of Anthony's on this team, man. Oh, gosh. It all comes down to this, guys. If they get a first set right here, I think that we're screwed. So, defense, I need you to step up and make a play. Come on. Okay, tackle an open field. Tackle. Tackle. Please tackle. Let's go. Okay. We're going to get a stop. They're going to kick their field goal, I think, at least. And then we need to, just need to try and get seven points to win this game, boys. Yep, they're kicking their field goal. I'm sure they'll probably make it, but all we need to do is just get a touchdown. And we should be able to win this bad boy. Only four seconds left, guys. Oh, my God. Fredericks has 215 yards receiving. This is going to be the final play of the game right here, guys. Snap the ball, Caprera. X, X, X. X, let's go. Anthony. All right, that's it, Dem. Try and kick it off the first guy's helmet. I've always tried doing that. Never works. Come on. Off his helmet. Off his helmet. Uh, no. Missed it. Okay, please tackle. Tackle. Let's go! A win over Utah, baby. Our bitter rival, man. Oh, that was so awesome. Good job, boys. Way to clutch it up at the end. And your Buford Bison finished 10-2, so we'll be in the Big 12 next year. I mean, the offense was explosive. 424 points scored. The defense was decent. I mean, what's not to like, man? We're playing some good football. We beat Wyoming, so next year we'll be able to recruit four stars, which I cannot wait for. Then we got destroyed by Michigan, and we barely lost to Northern Illinois. But since then, an eight-game winning streak, dude. Oh, it's phenomenal. On the trail, things have gotten 
designed beautifully as well. This class is looking really sticky good. This is the exact type of class I wanted to have this year, and it's the exact type of class I'm getting, dude. Couple that with the fact that next year, Coach McLovin is going to be able to go after four-star recruits. Things are really starting to ramp up, dude. I'm really looking forward to the future with this program, that's for sure. Okay, this is stupid. This is really the bowl game that we're going to play in our first bowl game, dude. It's not the fact that we're in a cool bowl game. Like the Fiesta Bowl is very important, I think. It's we're playing FAU, who we literally just played last game. <laughs> dude, the NCAA just continues to bend us over, dude. They just keep giving us the shaft. Someone's got to get open. Circle, maybe? Oh, God. Just step up, Caprera. Caprera! Dive! Let's go! Good job, Ryan! We haven't scored since, but the good thing is the defense hasn't given up a touchdown since, so things are going pretty okay. We just need to score a touchdown right here. Someone's got to get opener here, right? Oh, circle. That's the man. If he can't do it, no one can! Of course, dude. It's another Anthony. Like I said, we have like a bazillion of them on the team. Good job, Fredericks. The defense is playing possessed, dude. We're up 21. I mean, this has gone beautifully, man. I kind of expected that like Florida Atlantic's not that great. I don't know why they're ranked, but either way, just score getter here. Let's put this game away. Someone get open. Have no fear. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Told you. Somebody's gonna get it open. Let's go! GG's, baby. Colin with two L's. Good job, Mr. Mangan. Players leaving stage. Xavier's coming back for another season. That is very, very clutch. This guy's insanely good at football. So happy to have him back. And then Ryan Caprera's gonna get drafted, as I kind of expect. Like, he's not that bad of a quarterback. He should definitely be in the NFL. But for the other guys, they're not getting drafted because they're just simply not good enough, unfortunately. But, I mean, they were good enough to win 12 games last year. So, I think it's safe to say that Coach McLovin will remember all you guys. And hopefully that means something to you. Oh, my God. Bingo! Let's go! Ty Gurky is going to be coming in from Auburn. 77 overall right guard. This guy is a stud, dude. He's going to be a very, very good player. I am very, very happy about that, Coach McLaughlin. Let's go! Not like last year. This signing day, it's pretty stressful. This Chet Irvin guy from Idaho, I really want. Also, Quavian Hogan from Alabama with battling Troy for him. Stevie Smith would be a pretty good lead for us, so I only put 2,000 into him. And then Joey Kendall, I'm just not going after him because I'd rather get Stevie. And then for Cade LaSalle the second, I'm putting 1,000 into him. I mean, I'll be honest. I think we can get all four of these guys. We'll see what happens. I'm not, like, overly confident, but, I mean, it's looking pretty good. Let's go! We got Chad, the Idahoan. I think that's, that, yeah, that sounds right. Quavian, the Alabamian, and then Stevie Smith, the Texan, and then Cade LaSalle, the Floridian, man. Oh, we did not got Joey, but I really couldn't care less. Let's go, man! Four for five, man! Yeah! So that makes this the class this year for Coach McLovin. I cannot emphasize this enough, guys. This is the exact type of class that we needed. Oh, this guy's 6'7", as an outside linebacker. Stevie Smith is 6'1". There's a lot of height here, man. I'm like, oh, this guy's a 6'6 six, six receiver. <laughs> Coach McLovin, man, he got into his bag, as the young kids would say. Like I said, I say that as if I'm not 21 years old. I am a young kid, at least. I think I am. I don't know. Maybe I'm older than a young kid. I don't know. Depends who you ask. Either way, though, just know this class is really good. I'm happy. Austin Feeney's really good, even though there's a Juco. Same with Blake Huckins. Like, both Jucos kind of sucks. Hopefully, one of them are sophomores, but it is what it is. Joey Cook's really good. Corey Eugene. Chad Irvin. You guys know about him. The Idaho and Quavian the Alabamian, Aloisan Jordan, that's a cool name, uh, Quez Barnett, 6'7", oh, I cannot get over that, dude, it's so awesome, Stevie Smith, Cole Bacchus, like a really good running back to a Markel Allen, the 6'6", six, six receiver, like, there's just so much to like, I don't know if it's the highest rated class, yeah, it's close to it, 52nd, we're up to two-star team prestige, I think in year one or year two, we signed, like, the 49th ranked class, I don't know what it was exactly, my memory is not exactly the best, as you guys know, but 21 three-stars, I love it, dude, oh my god, Aloisan Jordan is a 73 overall, athlete, but he's an 87 overall quarterback. He's the quarterback of the future. Hate him the keys. Actually, not this year, but next year. Oh my god, dude. 90 speed. This guy's gonna be so good. The first Big 12 team of this video, and it's looking... Yeah, I don't know how to feel, because I don't think this team's gonna win the Big 12. Like, this team's definitely solid. I don't think it's as good as the team last year. Now, I might be wrong. We'll see what happens on the field, but that team won 11 games, and that team's roster was definitely better. So, I'm expecting a little bit of a decrease in wins, but we'll see. Colt Post is gonna be our quarterback again, though. He is 6'2", 253 with 82 speed. That is, like, something that should not be allowed. I don't know how that's physically possible, but, yeah, he's a really good quarterback. He probably has a good chance to get drafted himself, too, this offseason. I mean, he's 6'2", 253 with 82 speed. I would take a flyer on him if I were an NFL team. And you guys know about Xavier Wright. So glad this guy came back. 98 overall, 92 speed. Just such a stud. We also have a really good pass rusher. LJ Stewart, he's only 228 pounds, but he's got 84 speed as a defensive end, so that is very, very helpful. Yeah, like I thought, 86 overall. Last year, we were in 88, so we are a little bit 
worse, but looking at the rest of the Big 12, I'm not really that concerned. Like, the highest overall is a 90 Oklahoma State, so I don't really think there's any reason why we shouldn't be able to compete in the Big 12 this year. Maybe win the Big 12 title. I'll be able to see what happens, man, but the team's definitely not horrible. Well, so much for competing in the Big 12. We're 4-4, four 3-2 and four, three and two in the conference. You're telling me we lost two out-of-conference games, dude? That's just unacceptable. The defense has been so bad, man. Who were the guys that beat us? We beat Wyoming, then we got destroyed by Utah. We lost to Toledo. Oh, God, dude. We got destroyed by UCF. We bounced back, though. Beat Cincinnati, Houston, and we lost to Iowa State. But then we beat Kansas. So the last four games were 3-1. and one. We just got to keep that train rolling, I guess. The good news is recruiting, once again, has been awesome, dude. We got this Connor Zabovic guy. It's probably Russian. I mean, he looks really good. Got some Jukos, some big boys up front. I mean, early on, you might say, Tanner, the class looks like crap. But you got to trust me, dude. This class is going to be awesome. Look at the guys at the top that we have a good chance of getting. Got Colt Silva, Kyrick Miller. I mean, we're in a battle for a few of these guys. I'll give you that. But we're definitely going to get Antoine Cleveland, who looks insanely good. So I think this recruiting class this year is going to be really good. Back to the on-field stuff, which has not been that great this year. We're playing West Virginia on the road. They're a top 10 team. I don't see this game being very close. But who knows, dude? Maybe we can pull off a big upset. We'll see. Good to see the offense started strong. But as expected, they're 99 overall offense. It drove on us in a heartbeat, too. They're already down at the goal line. We need something miraculous to happen here, guys. Come on, defense. They have a spread out right here. Okay, it's a keeper. No, it's a gift. Any karate chopped us. That is so humiliating, man. I don't really know how to explain it. Like, the offense is moving the ball down the field with ease. The defense is a complete 180, though. They could not get a stop to save their lives. I don't really know how to feel. We just need to take a one possession at a time and get seven right here. I feel like we could just run it right at him. Maybe I'm an idiot thinking that, but I don't know. My spidey senses are tingling. And I was right. Good job, Jordan Wilson. Okay, guys. We actually have a chance to win this game, which I did not think I was going to say. We're only down seven. All we need to do is score a touch right here. Go for two. Win the game. X. Please. No, not open. Triangle. Please. Let's go! Okay, go over two, boys. Let's go. We're going for the dub. You guys know what player we're running. I'm going to my bread and butter. I kind of want to run the ball because I feel like it would work, but I can't risk it for the biscuit. Somebody get open. Please. X. Triangle. Triangle. Let's go! Nice catch! Chitty do! McMillan, that's just a dope name. Let's go, boys. All right, do not let them get a field goal. Just do not get mossed. I think the smart approach, put that guy in a deep zone, and let's rush the passer. Spin move? Ineffective? I tried twice. Okay, that's bad. That's bad, please. Do not let something bad happen. Oh, my God! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. There's not enough time left. Let's go, boys. Big upset on the road, man. Coach McLovin, let's go, man. Yeah. Finished 7-5, and five, so not bad. 5-3 and three in the Big 12. So, I mean, we weren't horrible. We finished in third place in the Big 12, so it's not that bad. Beat UNLV by 16. Lost to Baylor on the road, but they're pretty good. And then we bounced back and beat the Mormons to finish the season 7-5. Uh, and, and we got some new players in the fold, like that wide receiver, Antoine Cleveland, and also Fedarian Thomas, like these two guys, 86 overall, 81. So good, dude. We got some other new commits as well like this recruiting class man it's coming together very very nice i try to tell you guys man do not jump to conclusions coach mclovin was not done with this recruiting class and it's looking like it's gonna round into form very very nicely on signing day tax sack texas bull against texas a&m it's just a bunch of blah like nobody likes taxes and we got to play in houston which is in texas and texas a&m is also in texas so it's basically a home game which sucks we are getting drilled right now dude we're down 14 in the second quarter i mean the good news is we are basically inside the 10 yard line so we just did capitalize right here we got a score, guys. Square? Oh, yep. It's going to work. Touchdown. Let's go. Oh, that's a tall receiver right there. I like that. Good job, Ty Stribbling. I don't know how this game's tied in the fourth quarter. I honestly thought that we get blown out, but we just kept pushing back, man. We cannot let them get in the field goal range, though, because if they do that, we are screwed. I'm not feeling great about our chances. Maybe they shank the kick. That would be kind of funny. Oh, my gosh, dude. He's so oh, he karate ch- Oh, my God. Yeah, this might be over, man. We're gonna have to hope for a block kick or something. Coach McLovin tried icing them, but of course they have that stupid anti-free skill. So we're gonna have to take this thing into our own hands, boys. Come on. If you have long arms, it's your time to use them. And no, that went right through. Okay, two seconds. We know we need a miracle, but those things happen all the time. Come on. Okay, I think I fudged this up. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Marco, make it. Please, block. Make it. Make it. Make it. The fruit. Let's go! I told you miracles happen all the time. Let's go! I was so lucky, but I'll take it, dude. Let's go! Coach McLovin! After that awesome bull game, dude, we got some sad news. Quavian Hogue and his trades from the South of Alabama. This guy was so good last year in the recruiting class. That sucks. We also have Xavier Wright and Colt Bosa both getting drafted now. That doesn't suck. I'm happy for both of you guys. Best of luck in the NFL. As for the other graduates, unfortunately, you guys did not get drafted, but, I mean, not really too shocking. None of you guys are that stellar, but you guys were good players for us and you want a good 
good amount of games, and you guys helped us get to the Big 12, so I cannot thank you enough. Early Saturday day thingy is here. We're going after Toby Medlock, Chateau Pleasant, Zach Stittman, and Kyrick Miller. I'm kind of worried about Kyrick and Zach, because I'm only putting 1,000 to Zach and 4,000 to Kyrick, but I don't want to just put 5,000 to one of these guys, because I want to try and get both, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm not going after Jeremy, though, because we have a deficit in Junior. I just don't have enough points, but I'd like to get him. Bring me some good news, please. Come on, come on! Oh my god, we did not get Zach. At least we got the three other guys, but I really wanted Mr. Stipman, man. Oh, that's unfortunate. So that makes this the haul for this year, and dude... I'm so happy with it. Coach McLovin, I told you guys, man, once he's able to recruit four stars, that things will start to heat up. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really think that we signed that many four stars. Looking at it again, we still have a lot of three stars on here, but as you guys can see, the overalls are really good. So, I mean, all in all, I'm happy with the class, man. I think he did a good job. We got this Antoine Cleveland guy from Carmichael, California. He looks really good, dude. Fitaria Thomas, true freshman offensive tackle, 81 overall, then Connor Zubovich, the Russian, 80 overall, true freshman, Toby Medlock. I mean, those are what, three of the highest overall true freshmen? we've had so far this video so yeah dude there is plenty of talent coming into the program that's for sure 46 three in class yeah now anything stellar you know i was hoping for like top 25 i mean we're up to a three-star t prestige so maybe next year more recruits will be interested in us i mean we are in the big 12 now so that helps how's the team looking this year coach mclovin pretty solid i don't think it's anything like spectacular like i'd be shocked if this team somehow wins a national title like that's not gonna happen but could we win the big 12 this year it could happen coach mclovin i'm never gonna get this guy's name right i think it's alu washu Alu Washun, I think that's right. 5'9", 185, so he is not the tallest fella in the world, but he's got 91 speed. Oh my god, he's gonna be so good, dude. The only thing I'm worried about is the height, obviously, but maybe he'll wear high heels when he plays, but then again, I feel like that would be pretty uncomfortable and he wouldn't be very mobile, so I don't know. Feels like a good idea on the surface, but I don't think it would work. As for defense, we have a really good defensive tackle do. We start with Derek Baker, 6'3", 303, big boy, then also Derek Bell. All they're the same first day, but they spell it differently. That's kind of funny. But yeah, those two guys are very, very good at defensive tackles. So it should be pretty hard for teams to run at us. At least I hope so. 9-3 this year. Oh my goodness. We only lost one Big 12 game. But of course, UCF was insanely good. And Baylor's 12-0, and 0, dude. That's just our kind of luck, man. That's kind of ridiculous. But I mean, our points for is really good. So those are our points against, I guess. Looking at it again, no, our points for definitely sucks. So it's disappointing on that aspect. The defense was not very good, but the offense was awesome. Lost to our rival Utah week one by three. That was a close game. Then we bounced back against Wyoming and Kent State. But we lost to the Mormons at overtime. Ugh. We did bounce back, though. It looks like we went on a six-game winning streak, and then, really, East Carolina, that's who we lost to, dude? Oh, my gosh. And on the trail, things have been very awesome. Now, I don't think we have any four-star commits. We only have one. Oh, wow. Actually, yeah, we got two. Andrew Lefebvre. -Ve? I don't know. That's definitely wrong, but he's only 66 overall. It just goes to show, man, stars mean absolutely nothing, dude. I mean, look at who's his face. Patrick Mahomes, he was a three-star. Josh Allen was even ranked in Lamar Jackson was a three-star. There's some other examples. Tom Brady he wasn't ranked that high, so yeah, you know what, dude? We found some diamonds in the rough, and I'm proud of it. And now we are in the bull season playing the Beavers in the, I think it's the Valero Owl Mobile. I don't really quite know what that is, but they're not ranked, so maybe we can win this game. We'll see. He doesn't look that short, does he? Yeah, it kind of does, especially compared to our running back. Yeah, it's all right, though. It doesn't matter. Touchdown, Buford. Do not like the direction this thing is going, man. We're up three points, which is good, but they're inside the red zone, so if they score a touch right here, we'll be down a half, and I do not want that. Come on, throw a pick, Helm. Oh my god, who's on? Who's over there, dude? Just, there's not a soul in sight. Okay, guys, we somehow got the lead now. I thought this game was going down the crapper, but it looks like we turned things around. We just need to get a stop right here. Do not let them get in the field range. Oh, pick! Oh, no, that's bad. I think that's field range, isn't it? Oh, pooey. No touchdowns now, guys. Oh, dear. Pick! Yes, there it is! Yeah! <laughs> Awful throw. That guy's name is Forrest Helm. He's got a sweet name, but he did not make a sweet throw right there. That's for sure. Goodness gracious. That was way off the mark. All right, just need one first down, guys. Passing might not be the smartest idea, but I've never been the smartest person. And plus, we have a quarterback that's got 91 speed. Get out of there. Oh, yes. Time to show off the speed. Time to show off the speed. Time to show off the speed! That's why we got him. That's why we recruited him. Let's go. GG's, baby. Oh, that's disappointing. Toby Medlock is transferring, but he's going to Hawaii, so who could really blame the kid? Would you rather live in Hawaii or Wyoming? Yeah, I mean, there's volcanoes in Hawaii, but still, I think I'd give the edge to Hawaii. And then Xavier Alexander, our backup quarterback, is somehow getting drafted. That doesn't make any sense. But besides that, there's barely anybody graduated, so the team next year, on paper, returns a lot. So we should be really sticking good next year. Another side 
Ryan Day's here for Coach Pick 11. It's a lot easier this year because we only have to go with three guys, and we just put 5,000 to each of them. Not overcomplicating the situation. I just want to get all three of these guys because they're all very good players, so we'll see how it goes. Let's go, man. Signing day success for Coach Pick 11. We got Alan Wilder, Jack Bridgeford, and also Jaleel Wayne Prather, or Prather. It's one or the other. Either way, I'm really happy. So that makes this the class this year, and uh, man, it's so beautiful. Oh, this guy's name's Pizza. No, no, it's not Pizza. It's Piazza. I didn't see the other A, but yeah, this class is so good, dude. There's not that many four stars, as you guys know. I think there's only two or three in this class, so it's probably going to be ranked around the same as the class last year, but as you guys can see, the talent here is really good, dude. I am really happy with this haul. Scott Smith from Deer Park, Texas. He looks like a stud, only a three-star. Jeremy, that's definitely one way of spelling it. He's from Indiana, and then you guys know about Lee Pizza or Piazza. I'm just going to call him Pizza because it sounds cooler. Sanley Herring, another athlete. Julian Rogers. I mean, we have no Jukos in this class, which is something that I could not say for the last couple years, so I'm really happy about that. 41st class of the country, one spot below Navy. Good for the Naval Academy, man. But yeah, we also gained a team star prestige, which is really nice. Three, four stars this year. So maybe next year we'll be in the top 20. I'd say we probably will be. We'll see, though. Year 8 of the Coach Mick 11 era is underway, and it's the best team we've had so far this video. And it's really not even close, to be honest with all of you. Like, this team is incredible. I don't even know how it's so good, because the team last year was, like, not that great. But, like, this team's a lot better. I think it's just because we barely had anybody graduate. That really helped us out. But yeah, this team looks insane. Insanely good. Aluashan Jordan or Aluashin. I'm never going to get his first name right. So I'm just going to call him Olu Jordan. He is really good, dude. 99 overall. He's up to 92 speed. Like, he's not the tallest guy in the world, as you guys know. But he is a straight baller, dude. 82 acceleration, 99 awareness. I hope he stays for his senior season because of his height. NFL is probably like, hey, I don't want this guy because he's so short. We'll take him for another year if they don't want him. And on defense, our best player, Cedric Gordon. This guy is a 6'4 safety. Oh, I love when this happens, dude. 95 speed as well. Oh, he's so athletic. Athletic and tall. Let's go, dude. These are the type of genetic anomalies that Coach McLovin loves to have in his secondary. Like, this guy is going to be a stud for us this year, dude. I cannot wait. Preseason AP polls, Michigan at number one. Love to see it. Ohio State at two. Oh, it's so beautiful, dude. Where are we at, man? We got to be somewhere on here, right? Somewhere. Okay. We're not even on the 20s. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, we're at 25. Like I said, dude, 95 overall, 99 offense. The defense, though, it's a little lacking. 90 overall. The team this year, man, I would be shocked if we don't make the playoff. Like, this team's got some talent. 6-1 at the top of the Big 12 Division A for once, dude. Oklahoma State's also undefeated. They're an 83 overall, though. We should be able to spank them, but yeah, 4-0 in the Big 12, so they lost to the non coverage is unfortunate, but the offense has been really explosive, but again, the defense, it's been a little lackluster. Who did we lose? Oh, dude, Utah again. Isn't that like the third straight season we've lost to those guys? Dude, it's freaking annoying, but every other game, as you guys know, is a win. Are any of these games close? Houston and Texas Tech, so the last two games were close. We need to get back to this three-game stretch or four game stretch where we're killing everybody guys and now the recruiting trail Mick Lovin has been doing some Mick recruiting that's so stupid I'm an idiot Nolan Dietz though he took him from Ohio State because we need an outside linebacker so that's a big pickup there but yeah dude this class is looking pretty solid so far and the good news is this class is still far from overdue we still have plenty of guys left on the board we got Jonathan Mitchell Romain Lloyd Jamal Cole Tory Russell Jr. Isaiah Herring Bracken Hamlet Demetrius Smith Miles Carmichael like you guys can see all the studs that are still left so this recruiting class is far from over this game, though, we are taking on the Purple Frogs. I despise these guys just because of what happened last year in the semifinal game. Now, that was more on Michigan than it was on TCU. Okay, let's all be honest. But either way, Coach McLovin, we want blood. Wasn't exactly the message I was trying to give. I was hoping this game would be a lot more of a blowout, but it is what it is, dude. Let's just score right here. Let's put this game away. Let's just hand this ball off, punch him in the mouth, and get out of here. There we go. Good job, Mr. Franks. He just, like, he barreled in there. He even tried to score. Good job, Connor. That's game over. We spanked West Virginia, UNLV, Kansas State by 41, and then the Mormons by 46. Oh, my goodness, dude. We are on a tear right now. So, we finished 11-1 this year with our only loss to stupid Utah. On the trail, the only guy left is Bracken Hamlet. Actually, Utah's leading for him, so we gotta make sure we get that kid in the offseason. But we picked up some new guys like Demetrius Smith, Isaiah Herring. Now, we didn't get everybody on the board that was left, which sucks, but we got a good amount of guys, so I'm happy with it. Big 12 title game against West Virginia. As you guys can see, we have the clear advantage. I don't think they're very good. So this should be a W, but we'll see what happens, Coach McLovin. Not exactly the start I was hoping for. We're tied at seven, and they have the ball literally at the one-inch line. So I doubt they don't convert this, but we're going to have to run commit. Please run. Dude, of course, really, they're going to pass at the one-inch. Oh, my goodness gracious, dude. I just got bamboozled. Okay, at least we got the game tied up now. We got a chance to take the lead, so we got to take advantage of this. Mr. Olu Jordan, because I can't pronounce his full name. 
Square? Oh, touchdown. That's a laser beam. Good job, boys. Up 10. It's 4th and 7. I have no idea why they are not just kicking this field goal. I feel like that would be the smart move, but maybe I'm an idiot. I don't know. Just need to get a stop here, guys. Okay, come on. Throw a pick. Yes, that's, that's just short. That's short. That's what she said. Let's go, boys. Big 12 title for Coach McLevin. Playing at LSU in the second round. I'd much rather play like Colorado or like North Carolina, but I guess it is what it is, dude. This is probably not going to be an easy game, even though I wish it was. We'll see what happens. I do not like this situation. The offense has even scored scored yet and they have the ball up three in the red zone so yeah i do not like how this is going so far they have a tall quarterback too complete polar opposite of us and that is a laser beam oh my god well it looks like we scored for once which is cool so we're down three though which is not cool we need to try and block this kick i don't know how i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try and distract the kicker maybe i should try and challenge him to a game of rock paper scissors that wouldn't make any sense though it's kicked up please be short that guy's not that good. No, I have bad vision. Oh my gosh, we actually have a lead, dude. I don't know how, but we're only up one point. All we need is a first down, and it's game over. X, oh, it's gonna be open. Yep, easy peasy. Mangan, too. Man, he's a tall tight end. I love him. That should be game over, though, boys. Good W, man. I still don't know how we won this game. I thought we were for sure gonna lose, but the defense, man, they just balled out. Play Washington the second round through the four seeds. So they're definitely pretty solid, but they have already lost two games, though. Like, we're ranked a one seed just because we're the only team in college football that only has one loss or less, which just makes no sense, but I don't care, dude. Take care of business. Move on to the natty. Only down a touchdown early. You know I'd like to have the lead, but it is what it is. We just need a touch right here. Arlo. Oh, it's gonna be a touchdown. R1 wide open on the corner ramp. Good job, Chinidu. Oh god, dude. We're still trailing. We're down three in the second quarter. They're trying to score a touch right here. And of course, dude, they get it. That's like the exact same throw that guy last game made, dude. Right on the behind the corner and stuff. That guy's last name is Smallbone. That's awesome. Oh gosh, dude. We're down six points. If they get a first down, we are screwed. There's not enough time left. They keep it with the quarterback. Please do not let him get a first down. That's bad. Yeah, that's game over. Because we only have one timeout, dude. Oh my god. So much for that, Coach Mick 11. Player is leaving stage. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, guys. It's a sad day. Alan Waller is transferring to Arkansas. That's the college that finished in second place in his recruitment. That sucks, dude. At least Markel Aiken and Jackson Gallon are both coming back, though, for another season. That's nice of them. But the biggest news this offseason is Olu Jordan is going to the draft. I tried to convince them to come back. He would not bite for it, man. We also have Ben Redding, Cedric Gordon, and Connor Franks going to the draft as well. So yeah, dude, that is a shot to the heart, man. Losing Olu. Another setting days in the books for Coach McLovin, and I could not be happier. Honestly, dude, we have four 80 plus overalls, five to counter kicker, Coyote. That's such a sweet name. I love that. But yeah, top to bottom, dude, it's definitely the best class so far this video. Like, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Four guys at the top, Nolan Deeds, Demetrius Smith, Bracken Hamlet, Isaiah Herring. Like, we really need defense, as you guys know last year the defense was the weakness and these four guys should definitely be able to help us out there remain lloyd same thing there tony connett like the best recruits we got this year all defensive guys gotta be the highest ranking of the video right yep 14th baby seven four stars 11 three stars we're officially a five-star team prestige just one more star we'll be maxed out man but yeah things are definitely starting to hum for coach pick 11 the trade results are in and holy sexy this team is insanely talented dude this is definitely the best team so far this video their only real missing piece is Olu, because that jerk decided to leave us for the NFL, even though he's only 5'9". I don't know what crap his age was put in his ear, but he needed to come back for another year, dude. Coach McLovin, he tried to, like, sell him on it. Like, he left a McDonald's bag of cash at his door, but that did not seem to work, apparently. AJ Ivey's gonna be the quarterback this year, and I'll be honest, I feel horrible for this kid, dude. Like, he has so much pressure on him, dude, because this is a national championship caliber team, and he is not the best quarterback in the world. Only an 85 overall. I mean, at least he's 6'6", so he's tall. He's got that going for him. And this is by far one of the best offensive lines I've ever had in a video. I don't even think I'm exaggerated, dude. Left to right, look at this. Jackson Gallon, 93 overall, All-American. Shane Lodge, 93 overall, left guard. He's also 6'8", which is just insane. Then we got uh, Joey Cook, 98 overall, center, All-American. Then we got right guard Ty Gerke, 6'5", 328, 95 overall, All-American. So what's that? Three out of four All-Americans so far. And then Chad Irvin, probably should be an All-American. 6'4", 318, 92 overall, like across the board, dude. This offensive line is just insane. So our boy at quarterback should have plenty of time to throw. It's just is he gonna hit the guy that's open or is he gonna throw it to the other team i don't know oh gosh dude we're only a 95 overall i thought for sure we'd be at 99 well i guess i'm an idiot i mean we started 2-0 at least but it looks like both games were pretty close oh gosh dude only beat wyoming by nine look at the defense 33 and 49 the offense is fine it's just the defense has been utterly awful and for week three we're taking on utah at home our rival they're actually a top 20 team so they're like awful but their overall was not that high so this should be a dub x is gonna be open that might be a touchdown 
TJ Avery, make the throw. McMillan. Yeah, he's a fast guy, too. He's not very tall for a tight end, but Shinidu made it happen. We haven't exactly blown them out yet, but it is early in the game still. Only the second quarter. We got a chance to make this a two-score game, so we need to make that happen. Come on, TJ. You tall drink of water. Yep, there it is. Square. Slam, baby. Overpowered. Cheat code play. Good job, Antoine. I don't know why the defense couldn't play like this all year long, dude. I mean, we gave up 33 to Wyoming, and what was it? 49 to UNLV, but we are just destroying Utah defensively, man. Let's score again. Let's put this game away. Going back to our cheat code play. Slants. Slants. It's a cheat code play. Nice catch, Markel Aiken. He's tall, man. I like that tall receiver. Good job, Markel. It's game over, boys. Good job. Oh, my goodness, man. Dang it. UCF. It looks like they beat us head-to-head. -head. I mean, at least we have a better record, but that sucks. We cannot win the Big 12 this year. But every other game we won, just apparently UCF, just they took care of us. So we already know we lost to UCF. Oh, was that for the game against Utah? And then since then, we've been in a, like a tear, bro. The only close game we had was against Baylor and uh, Iowa State. But besides that, every other game was a spanking. Playing Texas a and second round. I'm sure they're talented, but they barely beat New Mexico, so I don't really know how good they are, but yeah, we need to be able to win this game, boys. Down seven early. Not exact ideal. We just need to get seven right here. Let's tie this game up. Ready to get open. R1. That might be a touchdown. Oh, Smith, go! Fast. Enough. Let's go! That's exactly what we need. Good job, Scotty. Oh my gosh, dude. We're down 14 in the second quarter. We are just getting blitzed right now, dude. We need to score. It has to happen. We need to get a touchdown. R1's gonna be a touchdown, right? Please? Please? Please, he's open. Let's go, Chinidu. We stormed all the way back. We're only down three points now, so we're actually competing for once, which is nice. I thought we were going to get blown out for a second, but we do need to make this field goal right here. We need to make sure we do not choke. Just right up the middle. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Oh, yeah. That's going through. Okay, guys, just do not suck it over time. That's all I ask. At the goal line, we got the cheat code play. Slant circle. Let's go. Good job. All right, Markel, dude. That guy is so good, bro. He's like 6 He's such a great receiver. Okay, defense, get a stop. Throw a pick, please. Yes, there it is. <laughs> Let's go, boys, out of the semis. Playing Tennessee in the semis, this is where we lost last year, guys. So I need you guys to come out with a vengeance, especially since they beat Michigan last round. Like, that's just not cool. We just can never get off to a hot start, dude. We're down seven early. Just need to get a touch right here. Tie this game up, AJ. That might be a touchdown to Chinidu. Chinidu, you got the speedo? Chinidu got the speedo. Let's go. I told you, man. He's only like six foot at tight end, but he is a playmaker. Ah, wonderful, dude. We're down seven again. All we need to do, we just need a score again. It's as simple as that, guys. Tie this game back up. Oh, square. That's touchdown, right? Yeah, there it is. Wide open, dude. I don't know how you could not see that guy. He's like Slender Man with his height, but they didn't see him. Let's go. I'll take the TD. Beautiful, boys. All right. We just need one first down right here. It should be GG's. Do not fudge this up, AJ. I'm dependent on you, brethren. Somebody get open. Chinidu? Chinidu? Of course it's him, dude. Goodness gracious, man. He's only like an 80 overall, but this guy is just a playmaker. That's game over, boys. On to the netty. UCLA, the 8th seed. They beat Oregon, who's the 1, and then they destroyed Penn State. So, yeah, this won't happy easy, boys, but we got to get the job done for Coach McLovin. Oh, that might be a touchdown. Block for him. Cleveland? Cleveland? Let's go. Oh, he, he got, there was a little self-sabotage right there. Good job, Antoine. Up three points in the second quarter. We still have the lead, which is nice, but it's not a touchdown. So, guys, we need to score right here. Make it a 10-point game. X. Oh, there's that zigzag route. And guess who it is? It's Chinidu, dude. He is just too good. Let's go, boys. I'm 10. Of course, we can't have a blowout, dude. All these games are so freaking close. Okay, all we need to do, though, is just get into field goal range and kick this baby home. Oh, my God. There it is. It's wide open. Cleveland. Touchdown. I'll take it if you can get it, buddy. Ah, okay. It's probably for the best he didn't score right there. Good job, Antoine. I have no idea why they did not call a timeout to try and ice us or just try and get the ball back. Either way, though, just need to make this kick. Should be the easiest kick ever. Time's winding down. We'll kick it right now. Up and through. Up and through! Let's go! And after nine years, losing the 5-9 quarterback to the NFL. No fan base, no support from the administration. Against all odds, Coach McLovin wins Buford, Wyoming, a national title. Let's go, man. What a job Coach Scotty McLovin did, man. I mean, honestly, that 11-2 season gave me a lot of hope. I did not expect that to happen in year five, but it did. We went down for a couple of years, and then we rose, eventually winning a national title in year nine. If you enjoyed this video, click the video on the screen where I created the SEC's Next Elite Team. I think you'll love it.